<sighs> What's the word, people? It's your boy Jamin A9 Boy, and today we're reviewing Dying Light. And just for the note, I'm a really big fan of Dying Light. I'm fucked up, homie. You fucked up, but if God got us, then we gon' be alright. Nigga, we gon' be alright. Nigga, we gon' be alright. The eyes of the world have been glued to the city of Haran for the past two months, following the outbreak of a previously unknown pathogen. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. The local government's Ministry of Defense erected a quarantine wall shortly after the outbreak. The global relief effort's steady stream of supply drops has sustained what few survivors remain in the city. The Ministry of Defense believes more radical action should be taken to stem the tide of this virus. The question is, are there still non-infected survivors in the city as the GRE maintains? And if so, will the Ministry still go through with a stated plan to annihilate the city? in an attempt to wipe out the Haran virus once and for all. Whether by way of the virus or the ministry's proposed plan, one thing is certain. Haran's days are numbered. Story. Dying Light's story was pretty good. See, the story is basically... You play as a man, Kyle Crane, who was sent to this area of fest with zombies to locate a file from someone. And basically, as I'm not going to spoil too much of what the, like, you know, the plot twist and all that. But basically, he comes conflicted with, should he work for a supervisor? Or should he do what's best for the greater good of these people? Because later on, some more fucked up shit can happen. You really kind of like, oh shit, I wasn't expecting that. I like, I enjoyed Down Life's story. And I believe it was the best zombie story mode that we had in a while. Gameplay. Dying Light is a first person open world shooter slash RPG that's just like Dead Island considering the fact that they're developed by the same people Techland. But what Dying Light separates itself from the pack is you get a free roam, I mean not free roam, but you know a free run or a parkour whatever you want to call it where you can like jump off a zombie's head, jump on walls, jump on ledges. You know I liked it because it was smooth and easy to perform and it was, you know it just gave, I felt like it gave the game a bunch of freedom and stuff like that and the combat system I opinion, I enjoyed it a lot more than I did Dead Island. I feel like the weapons didn't break that easily and the, the ability to put like metal parts in it to, you know, keep your weapon alive so you can basically keep using it so it had be more effective. You also get this inventory where you can like, you know, put your own weapons in, uh, get like make craft different items and abilities, different weapons to make your weapon stronger. And you know, I actually liked it. It was pretty cool to me. But the game also has a nice cycle where basically you get your ass with a lot more than the zombies do because they release this new type of zombie and they will fuck you up. Dislikes. See, the problem I had with Dying Light, I feel like the game doesn't give you enough, you know, I feel like they didn't give you enough, I, I feel like it was too hard to kill. The, uh, the volatiles, which are the night zombies, but I mean, I guess probably because I was fucking terrible at it, but I mean, I feel like they could have did a little bit better. And also, there's a bug in the game where, like, deletes all your weapons in the inventory, which is why the footage you're looking at, I have no weapons because my inventory was gone. I had no guns, no weapons, or nothing. It was like, what the, like, what the fuck? I mean, like, what the heck? Verdict. You know, at the end of the day, I really did enjoy Dying Light. I believe that it was probably one of the most underrated games of 2015, which is definitely why I'm kind of glad I gave it a pretty decent high spot of my game and year video. But, uh, what was I waiting for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I had to give you a recommendation for this game, definitely pick this game. Like, they have a following expansion coming out where it's like even giving a new map, you get the drive cards and stuff. I might pick it up, I might even review that as well. But,. Dying Light gets a 9 out of 10. I highly recommend that you get this game at full price or get it used. It's probably like $30 on the Xbox store. But anyway, this be your boy, Jamie the A9 Boy. I'm out this bitch.